Morning, guys. Um, title this a broken and contrite spirit. I'm gonna make this one brief. I, it's still an evolving message, but the Lord's telling me about how He's in the brokenness, and He started telling me about. I'm gonna get into some scriptures, but He started telling me about all the broken people in the Bible. So. David, even Joshua, Moses, Joseph, coat of many colors, Samson, Esther, and what just got God as men and women, Paul, Peter. You know, you all know the many of the stories, but you know, I'm gonna dive into the scriptures and then I'll tell you kind of a few things the Lord showed me showed me about this. I'm gonna try to keep this under five minutes because I just kind of want to get it out there right now, give you the scriptures to just kind of digest, and then, you know, you guys interpret, digest it, whatever the Lord tells you to do with it. Matthew 21, 42. Jesus said unto them, Have you never read the scriptures? The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. That was the Lord's doing, and is marvelous in our eyes. Therefore, I say unto you, the kingdom of God will be taken from you and given to a nation, bearing the fruits of it. And whosoever falls on this stone will be broken. Out of whom? Uh, but on whomever it falls, it will grind him to powder. Psalms 34, 18. The Lord is near to those have a, who have a broken heart and, a, and such as have a contrite spirit. Psalms 51, 17. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. These, O God, will you not despise. Isaiah, for thus saith the high and lofty one who inhabits eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place with whom with who has a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contract. This one I'm just going to kind of quote too. Well, I, one of my favorite scriptures, but Second Chronicles 7, 14. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways, then I'll heal the land. So God's dealing with the brokenness and that's just kind of where, where I'm at with this. You know, it's, it's scriptural. I'm going to put a, maybe a longer message out on it. But right now, this is just going to be kind of short and brief. And here's the scriptures. Um, but what he was dealing with me about was, like I said, all the different brokenness. And how he moved in that. And he was telling me all these different, you know, prophets and apostles. The 12 that he picked, 11 that he picked. However you want to put it. Mary, the mother of Jesus, knew who he was in the spirit, but yet she had that, to, in the natural, she had to watch her son brutally murdered. So, and some of y'all are facing that have faced that tragedy. I have some some friends and some other ministers and different people that I know that have faced that tragedy of a loss of a child. That's pretty 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 tragic, guys. It's pretty broken. Scale of one to ten, it's probably five thousand. It's very, very deep hurt. Then he took me to all the different ones, but David was one. You know, with the death of his son. And he had with Bathsheba after he murdered her husband, after all the sin that was involved, after all the messiness that was involved. Honestly, guys, he kind of thought he got away with it with the repentance piece, but then he was in, what was it, seven days? Sackcloth and ashes, six or seven days. Then he came out. Absalom, the son, death of his son. But he was dealing with me about all that. And then at the end, he said, even my own son was broken 
on the cross. When we take the marriage, when we take the communion, you know, with the brokenness of his body, and, you know, the brutality of his death, and but it's the brokenness of the spirit because Jesus knew the end was going to be that he was going to take back the keys to death, hell, and the grave. There was a purpose unto it, guys. There's a purpose unto this brokenness and this suffering. It's all for a greater good. It's all for his plan. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, no, it hurts. I got some stuff going on now, right now, especially in the health area. It's like, but I've seen some miraculous healing and parts of it, parts of it I haven't, but that's a whole other story. But so another message too. But you know, he's dealing with me about all these different people, David, but and then his own son. So comment on this, study on it. Give me some input on it, guys. I'm, I'm, I want to hear from you guys. Um, I got a new email address. It's Jesus is Alive in America on Instagram, Facebook. Comment on it. Um, there's a, a web page on Squarespace, which I'm about to change. But all this stuff about the brokenness, there's really something in there, guys. I'm still studying it, still researching it, still... That's how God works with me. He'll give me stuff, and sometimes he'll add to it. This is the one that he's it's still working. Even his son broke. And then he took me to, you know, the David piece. And this is all kind of part of it, but and it's all part of the humbleness. We all want the David that cut Goliath's head off, grabbed the big sword, cut his head off, ran through the... Ran, ran through the crowd or whatever, where he ran, you know, went through holding Goliath's head up. Look what I did. Look who the giant that I slayed. Kings. We all want to be those kings. That big chair, purple chair with all the wood carvings. It's best seat in the house. High and mighty. Nobody wants to be a servant. Jesus said, didn't think it, robbery to be equal with God, but took on the form of a servant, even unto death. Dying on the cross, guys, did you ever hear him spit out the words, hey, do you know who I am? He knew who he was. He was there before we even created the foundation of the world, guys, but humbled himself, became a servant. Everybody wants to be the king. Nobody wants to be the servant. There's no glory in it. For us, we all want the glory, the spot, the highlight, the Hollywood Christianity, roll out the red carpet, look who I am. This is kind of crazy, but even that song, you know, How Great Thou Art, well, a lot of people want that song to them. They don't, not really, it's a great song, but, man, it's that pride, guys. That's why I said humble yourselves. Broken and contrite spirit. Not easy to do, guys. I'm not, I'm not, that's not what I'm saying. Except the corn of wheat fall on the ground and die. That was the other part of it. But anyhow, I'm going to kind of, you know, re reevaluate this message in a little bit deeper. But I want to throw a couple things out there, guys. Um, look at the YouTube, the video on Feed My Sheep. I really need Bibles because the Lord has really been impressing that upon my heart to get the word out to prisoners, the homeless, and the women considering abortion, the broken. That's just where he's got me and my wife at. That, yeah, it, it sounds cool and noble and all that other kind of stuff. That's just, I call them mantles. That's just the mantle he gave me and my wife. Everybody has them, so no pressure, no stress. But if you feel led to, come down to 2929 Hickory Street, downtown Dallas, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and help us. Minister to the homeless. Start there. Bring some Bibles. Mail them to me. Email me at Jesus is Alive in America. I'll tell you how to get them. You can get them at half price books for three bucks. Medium mail's cheap. I need Bibles, guys. I need a lot of them. I need at least 50 a week just at the homeless shelter. And I got So, but it's not I. I'm. That's the direction the Lord's given me. But I said about the mantles. You could be the mantle. You could be the polished guy that has to go to the CEO of some big company. That's a soul too, guys. 
we can take that out of context and go into the sensationalism and all the other stuff that's a whole other message. But just follow the leading. If God's telling you to, to help or you feel led to, come help. If not, you know, that's not a, that's not a hard issue. I'm not, I'm not going to take offense or look at any kind of other stuff like that. It's not a hard issue because your mantle may be a little different. That's okay. Then the other thing that I really need, my Facebook, I have three Facebook pages. They kind of all blew up. I'm trying to clean that up. I need some IT help, guys, badly. So if you're in that area, if you're in Dallas, or just if you feel led to help, come help me. I need, there's some things that I'm trying to clean up, websites, different things, and I don't even know where to begin. That's not my mantle. I'm kind of illiterate in that area, guys. I really need some help. I need some help with the Bibles, feed my sheep. I need some help in the ads. I was like praying about it. So I'm just putting it out there, guys. I really could use some IT help. Come down and spend a couple hours with me. I could probably knock it all out in less than a day, honestly. I just really need some help cleaning some of this stuff up because it's very messy. So let's look at them and see or give me ideas or whatever. But comment, send me back stuff. Um, love you guys. Uh, talk to you soon. Please share these with others if anything touches you. Um, and also the books, especially the Jesus is Alive, Jesus Christ in you, the hope of glory. I just revised it, cleaned it up some, still working on cleaning up more. If get it on Amazon, Kindle, um, if the price is a problem, email me, I'll send you a copy. So love you guys. Talk to y'all real soon. Please share some of these, anything that you like. Um, Last thing, this is to one of my Facebook friends on there. I just haven't got to it yet. One of the, some really cool, the Facebook blew up. It's got 250 requests. Answered a couple all over the world. I'm like, man, God, I don't, a little overwhelmed with that, guys. But one of them, there's many of them, but one of the cool ministries, and I haven't got to it yet, is if my people who are called by my name, there's like a, I don't know if it's a website. It's it's like a prayer group. Sorry if I'm kind of decimating it to the, to the people that are involved in it, but they invited me into it. And I just haven't got to it yet. I will. Like I said, I'm kind of, you know, got multiple things going on here, guys, and I really could use a little bit of help. Even if it's just prayer, I'll take that, guys. That's awesome, cool, whatever. God's telling you to do. Jesus is telling you to do. The Holy Spirit's telling you to do. The Word's telling you to do. So like I said, come down and be part of us with the homeless ministry. We'll start with that. I'm heading towards getting Bibles to prisoners. Heading towards, you know, the women considering abortion. All the brokenness. And he's dealing with me. Feed his sheep. So, anyhow, I love you guys. Talk to you soon. Um, Jesus is alive in America. Just look it up. Instagram, Facebook, our website. Or email us. Thanks.